Welcome back to our series on suicide prevention. Now is the time. I'm Holly Ireland with Mitchell Mental Health Systems, and I'm here with Kathy um, Stevens, also of Mitchell Mental Health Systems. <laughs> Kathy? Yeah, one of the things, one of the reasons we wanted to get this going now in particular is because we do have an out of the darkness walk that's coming up. And the funds that we raise from this actually are going to um, help us increase awareness. Mm -hmm advocate for people and also research so we can find best practices to prevent suicide. Um, and that walk is going to be held on the 6th of September, which is a Saturday. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that we should probably talk a little bit about that briefly. And I kind of wanted to check out the slideshow that we have. Sounds great. Okay. Um, we're pretty excited about the Out of the Darkness walk that's coming up. And we have um, a website where um, you can sign up a team uh, or as an individual and you can do so to register just to walk or to raise funds or to donate to teams who are raising funds. Um, and we're also looking for sponsors. So if somebody maybe doesn't want to walk, we could definitely use sponsorship, um, in-kind donations or financial do donations certainly would be helpful. We welcome any contribution. And your dogs are welcome to come too. All right. So check this out. Check this out. Absolutely. So by, by suicide, one person every 13.7 minutes, that's quite a bit, 40,000 people, and that was 2010, those were statistics from 2010, so I'm certain that it's increased, we're four years later. Absolutely increased since 2010. Suicide is the third leading, leading cause of death for 15 to 24 year olds, and is the 11th leading cause of death, of, as you noted in the first right. segment, um, in Maryland, and is the 10th nationwide. We of remember course, him. everybody. We've really seen across media and social media the last couple of days uh, a, a nation, a world in shock of the loss and, and of Robin Williams. Um, and a lot of discussion has been very um, openly recognizing, and some people for the first time recognizing, that Robin um, had bipolar disorder and also struggled with alcohol and cocaine use or abuse. Um, he had had up to periods of 20 years of sobriety in his life um, and unfortunately recently experienced a relapse um, not long prior to his suicide. And um, a lot of people, and, and a lot of people to me in, in my discussions are recognizing that for the first time or becoming aware of that for the first time, yet he's such a public figure. Yeah. So it, that just speaks to how invisible um, the need for help of someone who is experiencing suicidal thinking or contemplating suicide, um, that that can be so invisible. And it's so important to take those things seriously. If somebody says something, please take it seriously. Right. Um, and we've lost so many other people, Vincent Van Gogh, Hunter Thompson. And these are people all who are talented, who have concentrated um, their energies into some form um, of construct constructive um, offering to the community. Mm -hmm. Um, and ultimately struggled or um, died by suicide. Yeah. So it's not those people with suicidality or us with the suicidality. It is uh, all of us. Um, there is research out there uh, that speaks to the fact that just about every person on the planet has fleeting thoughts, thoughts of suicide at some point in their life. Um, while not 100% of the people, I'm sure, it is quite the majority. Um, and so it touches every one of us. And Whether we, directly we experience those thoughts or someone we love um, battles with those, that kind of thinking or, or has completed um, the act of suicide. And the thing is, too, is that you know, we often see or start talking about suicide when we see famous people, right? such as what happened with Robin Williams. Um, the thing is, is that people in our communities have lost loved ones right. and they're not famous and they're not going to be written about and they're not going to be talked about and oftentimes the families can't find anyone to talk to because if there's such a stigma attached to suicide. Right. Um, what do you say to a mother whose child killed themselves? Okay. What do you say to get rid of that guilt um, and that pain? So, so now is the time. 
Now is the time for us to listen and to care and to reach out if we need that. Exactly. And how we can do that, um, as we talked before, our, our Out of the Darkness Walk, um, first for the Midshore region, um, is upcoming. Mm -hmm. And also, if you're in need of help or know of someone who's in need of help, um, these resources, both nationally and locally, are available to you and can link you with the ongoing supports. Um, and the 888-407-4018, that phone number is, there's someone on that line 24 hours a day, seven days a week, that can also access you to a mobile crisis team who are available to come out to your home from 9 a.m. till midnight, and that's really important to know. Absolutely. Good point. Thank I you guess, very much. I guess we'll be back again. We'll be back again. <laughs>